Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space coming on with a, a journal page. Do you, remember Do you remember this? If you're a long time subby, you would have. Well, not long time. I made this a couple of months ago. Um, I'll link the video of me making it. No, me showing you how I made it below. I didn't do a process video. It took me a while. Um, I really like Dina Wakeley's idea of a me, I think she called it a mixed media journal where your journal pages are made up of all different substrates or substrates? Sounds like a posh word. All different um, papers and material and things. She's got hessian and cotton and watercolour paper and craft paper and things. So I am trying to use what I've got as opposed to go out and buy a $50 journal which I would be in Australia which is a bit ridiculous and I haven't bought a $50 journal yet and I probably never will. So. I made this one and it's out of a bit of cardboard from my daughter's bed from Ikea. God, we got so much cardboard when her bed from Ikea come in 19 boxes. Um, <laughs> so putting it some is good use. So just quick flip through. I put material in here. I put an old calendar. Um, this is just drawing paper. That's in the inside of a cardboard roll. Christmas paper. Water, supposed to be water, cheap watercolour paper. Ada plastic stuff. Um, there's also some hessian in here, some spotty hessian. I won't flip through the entire thing because you've seen it in the other video, I'll link it below. There's cereal boxes. Basically I just grabbed a whole lot of stuff and they're all different sizes. You can see this one's a smaller one, this one's a bigger one. Smaller, bigger. So I've decided, I haven't used it yet, I've decided to not work on the first page in case the stuff it up and looks ugly. Do you, ha do you have the fear like I have of starting a new art journal? You don't want to muck it up? You don't want to mess it up? So today is the day I'm going to get over that fear. I'm going to put you in fast forward in a minute. I found this gorgeous picture of a frog. Sorry about the glare if there's glare on it. And I decide I want to do something with him in my art journal. So I picked, this is just um, drawing paper or cartridge paper I think come out of a big sketchbook. So he looks about the right size. I'm going to cut him down to here. So he looks about the right size and then I can have a bit of background and a bit of stuff to do something with. Something with. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to bust out some Dolusions paints. I thought I'd make a background with my round jelly plate just because I can and just because I want to play with that. So I'll pop you in fast forward and I'll do a bit of a voiceover and see what I come up with. I'm excited. My first... I think once I get over the first page I'll be right. I'll sit and play in it a bit more but I just haven't. I made this a couple of months ago. Or it'd be two or three months ago now. Yeah. Oops. It's been sitting on my shelf looking at me and going, come and play with me. And I'm going, no, I don't want to wreck you. So I'm sure you've all got that fear of a new art journal. So here we go. Just starting the page with a clear coat of gesso. This is homemade clear gesso. Um, there is recipes on the internet for you. I can find a video to link below if I remember. Um, basically clear gesso it gives your page some more tooth or ground so you can then add a lot more liquid on it and it seals your paper but doesn't detract from the colour of your paper. Okay so here we go with the process video. I'm working in my mixed media album that I made. Decided to use my gel plate. I don't pull it out as much as I'd like to actually do journal pages. I tend to pull them out and make a lot of jelly prints. So I decided today that my circle one was there and I decided to have a play. So that little book off to the left is just my muck around journal or use it, um, excess paint journal. It's just a collection of junk mail and I'm just putting any excess paint that I have on the page and then eventually I'll turn it into a mini junk journal. So it's great when you can just roll off your paint onto another paper and then you've got something more to use. So just using some Delusions paints. And bear with me if there's a bit of background noise. We've got some workmen in our backyard at the moment digging up pipes. Um, so, yeah, using Delusions paints. I like using Delusions paints because they, they go on nice and thin. You can write over them and they're beautifully brightly coloured. I'd love to get her second round. I only have her initial colour selection and I never got the purple because I can never get in stock. Um, but I would like her second round of colours. That would be really cool one day. Trying not to buy at the moment, trying to use up what I've got. <laughs> I have enough paints so I'm trying not to buy paints. So just giving the layers a dry in between and just giving that book um, a dry as well so I can flip the page and use the next colour. 
I've actually got an upcoming video on that book doing a page in the book um, so I will post that soon coming in with a third I believe this colour called cut grass so coming with the third layer just trying to I was just trying to make a funky background um, I knew I wanted to use the frog and the frog sort of lent these colours the green, the green and the yellow so that's sort of why I went with these colours I didn't really know what I was going to do apart from sticking the frog on the page some days I'll do that, some days I'll start art journal pages and I have no idea where I'm going some days I start and I know exactly where I'm going more of the I don't know where I'm going lately the thing about the gel plate is the paint's really really thin so it dries super quick so you don't have to sit there and wait ages for your paint to dry which is really handy. I can hear some birds crowing, hopefully that's not coming through on the video. We get a few crows around our place at the moment. They tend to go through the rubbish bins down the street from our house and then land on our tin roof and bang things. Okay, so I decided to bring in some stencils. So these are stencils I've designed and if they are in my store I will link them below. I am a bit behind um, uploading new stuff but I am getting there eventually. So this one is small stones or small pebbles I believe. No, medium pebbles this one is. So just going over the um, particularly one colour with the same stencil and that makes it look really nice and it gives you a really cool effect. And you can sort of see the circle through the stencil so you can see where you're stenciling. So this next stencil is, oh that's one of the circle ones, that one might be on the website because that's a fairly new one. So just using the inside of that circle stencil, just to stencil bits and pieces. I like to mix up and do a couple of different stencils on each page and you don't need to use the entire stencil. You can see there I'm just concentrating on the smaller inner circle on the stencils. And then I go and put some of those larger circles on the outside. That's why I love stenciling because you can actually be picky and choosy of what you want to put on your page. You can put a lot on or you can put a little on. So that new circle stencil will be available soon in my store when I get all my backlog of new designs put up. At the moment I'm putting up the new ones that are being released and then I'll put up all the backlog, backlog of ones as well. Someone needs to put more than 24 hours in my day and then I'd be happy. I'd get all my work done. I probably need 48 Maybe 72. We'll go 72. I need 72 hours in a day to get all my work done. For example, while that's drying, I was at the doctor's office today. I waited an hour to see the doctor for two minutes. Seriously, how much work could I have got done at home for an hour? Some days. And I was in there, oh, wouldn't even be two minutes. And he goes, yes, take the repeat. So it was like just a check up, sort of to take another repeat of antibiotics for something. I'm going, oh, sit there for an hour doing that. Ah, that's right, just drying off the page. I love how it looks at the moment. I should have went and scanned it on my computer, but I can always replicate it. Not exactly, but same same sort of thing. So it's giving it a good dry. Now come back, I've actually cut out my frog and I decided what else am I going to add to the page. So I had a student dictionary there. You just saw it. Whiz! I was a bit quick. Um, student dictionary so I've actually got the word frog and these are from the F page so I show you in a minute do I show you no I did it really quickly so on that big bit I just stuck down is actually the frog definition so I decided to include that as an element you can't really unless you sit there and read the page you can't really tell it's the frog but it's sort of subtly there so using my Liquitex matte medium to stick them down with I'm in love with Liquitex, Liquitex matte medium that's a mouthful say that ten times and I've nearly finished my bottle but I am finding because I squirt it from the bottle I'm using far too much and I've gone through that little bottle which is reaching for it like 237 mils or eight fluid ounces in probably two months now that's ridiculous I have done a lot of a lot of stuff in two months but what I'll ideally do if I do purchase that again I'm actually going to put it in another jar so I can dip my brush in because I believe I won't use as much then um, because it's really hard to get it back into the bottle when you have put it out. So just going over the entire page. These are crayons, washable crayons from Daiso. They were two dollars eighty. So I just wanted to add a bit more colour. Um, so I bought a bit more green in and activating. They activate with water because they're washable. I do have a a review of these on my channel. If I remember, I will link it below. But for two dollars eighty, I thought, yay, let's give them a go. I love the colours; they're like really nice pastel-y, like gelato-y, ice creamy colours. 
Um, so we're going a bit fast here. I must have put this in super fast forward. So just adding a bit of extra colour with those. Then I decided the page needed some red. The frog has red feet and red in his eyes and red on his legs. And there was no other red on the page. So I decided I want some subtle red. So that's actually a cap from a misting bottle. And I'm just dipping it in the lid of the paint of another Delusions paint. I believe this is red post box. And just adding some circles. I wanted a subtle bit of red but not in your face red if that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. Then I put a big blob down the bottom accidentally. So then I decided to blob a couple of other places places on the page. So my blob down the bottom didn't look out of place. Even though I had the matte medium on the page, I couldn't wipe up the blob. So yeah, let's just add some more blobs. <laughs> uh, so just giving that a bit of a dry. Some of the Circles have got quite a blobby bit of paint on them, so they do take a bit extra to dry. I have sped this up about three times um, normal speed. I don't work this fast. It would be nice if I could. And also there's been a few breaks between the videos when I'm going umming and ahhing of what to do. I should have cut this bit of drying out, shouldn't I? I do usually look at my videos before I edit them, but... I've done this, I edited this one a few weeks ago and then it just needed its voiceover. I can sit and edit videos while Alexa's watching TV or watching TV, but I really need to find quite hours in the day that I am can do voiceovers. And quite hours in my day at the moment are few and far between. As I said, I've got workmen outside digging up um, pipes. I've got my machine running because I'm doing a work event soon, the end of the month, in a couple of weeks. Um, so I've got that running in the background. If you hear a bit of humming, I apologise. Now I decided it needs a title. So because the frog's sort of climbing to the top of the twig or stick, whatever he's climbing, looks like a big bamboo actually, I decided to do a title that says Never Stop Climbing. Now these little um, Dymo type stickers are from Big W and I got them several years ago. Um, and I don't believe they have them anymore, but you can use any sort of stickers. And I decided to... Because I'm sticking them onto matte medium, I've already got that on my page, I decided to put matte medium underneath and above the stickers. And the little stickers were sliding all over the place. So I sort of put a bit of matte medium down, let it get a bit tacky, and then put them on top and then wish over the top of it with more matte, Liquitex matte medium. But the little darn stickers kept falling and moving and they were just a problem. They were just being annoying and I was getting really frustrated. As you can see, a few of them I'm turning around and around and that, especially that one wouldn't sit there for N. The stickers are only $2 a pack and you got two sheets, so they're cheap, cheap, cheap-ish stickers, um, which is really good. I could have got my Dymo label machine out and I found that. <laughs> Amazing what you find that you thought you didn't have anymore when you look through boxes you haven't looked through for a while. So there I go. See, the letters are just moving around. They're just being naughty little letters. So I eventually get all those sealed in. Because I do find if you stick stickers on top of any sort of matte gel medium or gloss gel medium, they just don't tend to stick real well unless you put a coat underneath and sort of glue them on. So just drying that up. Then I found the page was nice. Oh, I don't know why it went all fuzzy then. I apologise. Um... So I also like to dry my page from the back, especially if it's going to curl. It, and especially if you've got a lot of sort of water on the, not water on the page, um, paints or inks or sprays, it helps the page not warp as well. So just showing you there my Inktense, Derwent Inktense pencil. I so desperately want a Stabilo All pencil, but they're like hen's teeth in Australia. They're so hard to find. This one does a similar job, not as good a job. An ink text pencil is actually, well, ink, so it's permanent when it dries. And it does activate with water, so you get the same sort of results, but everyone uses Stabilo all pencils, and I want one, and I can't get one because I can't find them in Australia at a reasonable cost, unless you want to buy a dozen of them or something. It's ridiculous. Okay, rant over about a silly pencil. As you can see, that one's a well-used pencil. I'd love a whole set of intense pencils, but I have a black one and a white one that I bought in single stock, open stock. Maybe Santa Claus would be nice at Christmas and send me some intense pencils. 
if I'm a good girl. No, I think Santa's bringing us the sewing machine this year. Um, yes, I just like working with intense pencils. And this is about the end of the page. Thank you for watching. Welcome to all my new subbies that have come on board. And have a great day.